Hey, right, so this time I'm checking the sound quality on my mobile phone and I'm using uh, this little thing, which is a shotgun microphone, which just attaches to the uh, headphone jack in your phone. And in theory, it should mean that the sound quality is better. So at the moment, I'm trying to rather unsuccessfully position the microphone so it's not coming into the shot, uh, which is not happening very successfully. But I, to be honest, I'm probably a little bit rubbish at this. There, I think that's okay. I'm trying to now balance it in a bit of plastic. I'm now trying to balance it anywhere so that it's not coming into the bloody shot. Uh, oh, Stephen Spurrier doesn't have these pissing problems, does he? Uh, uh, does that work? Is that good? Is that... Right, back in a minute. And we're back. So I've now managed to take off the wee little thing that's supposed to help it attach to sit on a camera. So now it's basically just sat at the side of the phone on top of my printer where my camera is and where I'm filming this. Uh, if I was slightly better at this, I'd probably be better at getting me, me in shot. Uh, because at the moment, all you can probably do is see the office. Uh, there's probably a way of zooming in on this. Uh, can we do it like that? No, can we bugger it? I'll work out how to do it later. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so this is a test with the microphone. Uh, hopefully the microphone is positioned now in such a place that the sound quality will be much better. Uh, uh, being a vlog star isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Good morning. So here is attempt two at blogging. So first up, we have the Rode Video Mic. Comes in a box like that, and that's basically what it looks like. Out of the box, it comes in a dinky little plastic wrapper in two sections. So you have the microphone proper, you then have a wind brake going over it in case you're filming windy conditions. Then you have a little thing that clips on. Ah. And then you have a jack that plugs into the back here and then that plugs into the phone or the camera. Uh, it's powered by the battery on the camera and it's incredibly good. The sound quality is really good. It really helps if you're doing vlogging or blogging. Certainly the bits of messing around I've done with it so far, there is a definite qualitative difference between the noise recorded with this and without this. Uh, and it's just really good. It's really good and you can always pretend it's a cuddly toy as well. What's not to like? We're trying out the Sony RX 100V. Right, so in the hand, this is quite a tiny little camera. So you turn it on, it's got, it's got quite an inobtrusive lens really. Uh, the key thing, it's got a built-in microphone and then it has this screen at the back that flips round. So that if you're filming yourself, you can basically see what you're filming while you're actually talking into the camera, which in terms of vlogging, and certainly for somebody who's as bad at it as I am, that's quite valuable. Uh, it's really dinky in the hand. Uh, it's massively portable. It's, you know, you can easily stick it in a pocket. Uh, other things that are quite cool about it, it's got like a little pop-up flash there. And it's also got a pop-up viewfinder so which pops up there so that when you go through this it helps you frame and compose the shot and it also it's also got this quite cool function that when i get it on that when you're shooting it's basically got a leveling function so that it's got a wee little line that goes across here so you can see whether you're level or whether you're tilting or whether you're just doing something really weird that will give you a wonky shot. Uh, uh, it's quite expensive, but it's also quite good and it's jam-packed with features. Uh, Alright. Okay, camera number two. This is the Panasonic G80M. Uh, if the Sony camera was quite compact, this looks like a much more formidable sort of beast. It's the sort of thing that you can imagine somebody who's a professional photographer getting hold of and just wowing everybody with. Uh, 
one really really good lens lens all sorts of power for all sorts of zoom power focus facilities in it it's really really quite impressive you know if you think that size does matter then it's a good thing to have uh, secondly uh, it has a flip screen at the back so it's quite compact it's quite inobtrusive but you flip the screen out here and you can turn it around there so if I'm shooting the vlog here I can basically watch what's going on on the screen so I can see what's happening uh, so the screens fully articulated and it hides away the other thing I do quite like about this camera is that it's very good ergonomic design if you're holding it and shooting it all the buttons are here all the uh, the pressy the pressy the pressy go button is here but it actually feels incredibly good in the hand when you're holding it so even if, so if you are at a point where you're filming something and you don't have a tripod and you need to keep it in your hand it's there it's also got incredibly good uh, image stabilization technology built in so if you are walking along or you are sort of like filming on the move it does its best to try and keep the image relatively stable uh, I like this it's good uh, it, it announces that you're some sort of filmmaker or photographer which is obviously very good for the ego and you know if it makes me look as though I'm slightly better and I genuinely know what I'm doing which I clearly don't then it can only be a good thing okay we're back okay tripods okay at the moment we're looking at the Suyu tabletop tripod now this is something I quite like so it comes in a dinky little bag clip the phone tripod so it doesn't look particularly big but however it's got right turning it and clipping it into place it does extend to quite a lot it's quite a decent size so you can use it as a selfie stick you can also use it as a tripod because it's got these three bits of base at the bottom that's spread out and sit like that okay the phone attaches in here and so it basically sits like that the moving parts are all quite well built uh, there's a ball and socket joint here so you can angle the phone that's made out of steel there is a clamp here so you can move things in and out and attach cameras and various things uh, you can also the clamp you can also take out and attach to other things so if you're outside shooting you want to clamp it to something to get a better shot that needs to be at an angle it's got a clamp here uh, the other thing I like about this is it's really really lightweight so if you are the sort of vlogger who goes out and does stuff and you don't want to be carrying loads of kit with you and this basically breaks down into three bits like that one two three and it pops back in the bag so and it shuts up so it's basically about the size of a pencil case uh, the other thing that comes with this which I really like uh, there is a little button for automatic filming so you basically Bluetooth that connect this via Bluetooth to your camera and then there's an on and an off button for starting filming and stopping filming so it's basically a shutter button so that's also really handy 